In other news for tonight, apparently the UK, they're moving to ban cars. Now I heard, oh, fuck it out. Oh man, I love the news cycle. It's just amazing. It's just amazing. So Jordan B. Peterson brought this to my attention on the Twitters. He said, no, no, it's bloody awful. This is utterly reprehensible and a taste of all things climate to come. How much climate space are you occupying? <laughs> and he, he linked to an article that says this. Yahoo News, UK inches closer to eliminating private car ownership. Soon Brits will own nothing and be happier for it. Now that sentence is referencing the World Economic Forum, who are a bunch of unelected bureaucrats funded by billionaires who are influencing governments all around the world to make policies that quite simply parallel communism the article says and it's amazing this is on yahoo news so yahoo news cur courtesy of stephen symes hasn't actually 100 percent fallen to wokeness i can't believe this is on yahoo news he says uk government transport minister trudy harrison recently spoke at a mobility conference addressing the future of personal mobility in her comments she said it was necessary to ditch the 20th century thinking centered around private vehicle ownership and towards greater flexibility with personal choice and low carbon shared transport so this is incredibly orwellian in george orwell's book why i write he says people who want to obfuscate what they say and lie mainly politicians, they use big words and Weasley vocabulary to kind of distract what they're trying to talk about. You're talking about cars, bitch, and you're calling it a mobility conference. That's very Orwellian indeed. And how Orwellian is this? She's saying, you need to ban cars with personal choice as a focus. Does that mean if I throw all my money away, I'm going to be rich? And does that mean... If I let you punch me in the face, it's going to heal me. These are completely opposite conflicting sentences. You, you don't have any private ownership and you've got personal choice. Those things don't come together. And that's why it's Orwellian. In George Orwell's 1984, the totalitarian system often says conflicting things and opposite things in sentences such as war is peace and things like that. And in the same manner, these motherfuckers over in UK are saying having no private ownership is personal choice. It just means they're lying and they're totalitarian. So apparently this, this is the UK transport minister is talking about that. Harrison went on to praise not only public transportation, but also bike share services, e-scooters and ride sharing platforms. Oh, all things the government gets its big tendrils into in its bid to centralize and become a, a huge bloated monster that manages your life from cradle to grave. I see all those sharing services owned by the government, tracked by the government. Very interesting. All those ride sharing platforms. Uber was amazing before the government got involved and then they got involved and then it's fucked and there's basically no money in it anymore. The more the government get involved, the worse things become and soon they're going to nick your fucking cars and the only cars you'll be able to ride are self-driving ones that monitor you wherever you fucking go. You don't think they're going to take that data? That data, in my opinion, will be linked with your digital ID and social credit score. There will be no fucking escape. You want to get in your car and go somewhere to get away from the government? No, you can't. Access denied because you voted for Orange Hitler. The article continues, as with all choices, this comes at a cost, particularly for those living in rural areas. So there you go. They're, they're talking about it, and I'm not surprised. So in the beginning, it was coronavirus. You can't go here. You can't go there because of coronavirus. Next, it is going to be carbon emissions. You have released too many carbon emissions. Ding! You can't leave your house today. You can't go to a restaurant. Then it's going to be you tried to go somewhere without the government's permission. Ding! Now you cannot socialize with your friends, and you cannot use your bank account. This is ultimately where it will go. You can see it gets slowly... It, progressively more ridiculous until the point this kind of government with powers unchecked due to emergency powers because of the coronavirus and the climate change will just become madness pure madness you need some counterbalance to this and i just simply can't see where it's coming from maybe michelle obama's gonna save us in 2024 actually it's probably more likely someone like joe rogan but there you go so the uk uh, thinking about banning cars fucking amazing can't wait for that and you wonder why i ride a cunting skateboard <laughs>